Hey, and welcome to a new video for AIanimation.com. In this video, I just want to share news of an update to Runway ML that I've just seen online, and I've not heard any word about it from Runway ML via emails or any other YouTubers talking about it. So I thought I'd hop on quickly and just share the news, um, and hopefully you can jump in and try it out yourself. So Runway ML, one of the leading AI video generation platforms, allows you to use a text or an image prompt using Gen2 to create these awesome four second clips of stylized or realistic filmed or animated style footage. And as of a recent update, a couple of weeks ago, you can now extend those clips up to 16 seconds long, but they've since added a new feature which I've just seen, which is this motion variable. So once you add your text or image prompt, there's now a drop down menu where you can set the motion variable from zero to 10 to try and increase or decrease the motion in your clip, which is really handy because up to now you'd submit your text or image prompt, press go, and you might have to submit multiple times in the hope of achieving the sort of clip you're after. So to test this out, I'm going to use an image generated with Midjourney and run it through Runway ML and try out some of the different motion settings to see how that impacts the output. Here we go. So I'm logged into Runway ML and I'm going to use the image to video Gen 2 generator. You could also use a text to video generator. Either of those links actually go to the same page and you can swap between text and image here. I'm going to go ahead and upload the bare image. We can then go down to the new motion menu here and adapt the motion setting. We could do a test at 0, 2, 5, 7 and 10. You can also type the number in here and it has to be a full number. In the settings here, it has interpolate, upscale, and remove watermark on by default now. And we can go ahead and press generate. And I've got the first version here, which was set with a motion of five. And we've got some nice motion going on both on the bear itself and in the scene. And in this one where the motion was set to zero, the actual scene environment has no motion in it at all, um, or very little slight flickering, but we've got all this nice character motion on our character, ignoring the fact they get a bit weird looking. Um, so that's interesting that with zero, there's no environment animation, it's just focused on the main character. And then we have the other one where the prompt was set to 10 for motion. And we've got loads of motion going on in the scene and on our bear character as well. So it may be that the motion variable allows you to set the amount of motion you want in the scene as a whole. And the AI knows the difference between the main character, the main subject of the scene versus the environment. I've got one more here where I've set the motion to two. So we've got a little bit of motion in the environment um, and on the bear itself, but most of the scene is static bar the bear. I'm going to run one more, this time with the motion set to seven, and hopefully we'll find some balance between the first bear output where there was a little bit of motion everywhere and number 10 where there was tons of motion and it should hopefully arrive at some sort of middle ground. Let's press generate. Okay, so this is the final clip with the motion set to seven. And we've got a nice blend of some good character animation and some nice movement with the environment scene as well and nothing's too over the top. So yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and download this clip and drop it into Topaz Video AI to upscale it and reduce some of that flicker and shudder and just improve the overall clip. Um, I'll include a link to that. It'll be an affiliate link in the video description below. So if you are interested in that software, go and check it out. It's not cheap, but it is very, very good. Please leave any comments. Let me know how you get on with the motion variable yourself. Are you seeing similar results? Is it working for you in a different way? Is zero reducing all the motion or is it actually just picking out the character itself? Have I just got lucky with these tests? I'd love to know what you find out. And of course, please press subscribe, like, and press the little bell button so you're notified when there are new videos uploaded. Um, good luck in your AI animation endeavors and have an awesome day. All right, cheers.